Minolta 7000. If you're watching this, you're most likely at a thrift store and you are wondering if it's worth buying, if it's worth the money. Let me just start off with saying, yes, buy it. If it's $5, $10, buy it. If it's more than that, show the seller this video and say $5. So I was on YouTube watching a video of a guy with his Minolta 7000 and he had a girlfriend. So I went and got a girlfriend and then I got <laughs> my Minolta 7000 and we're gonna go do a vlog. In this video, you're gonna see a vlog. You're gonna see me just going out live and shooting this camera and the results I get. And then at the end of the video, you're gonna come back to me here and you will get my opinion on the camera. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you haven't already, subscribe to your boy. Hey, the vlog starts now. So I will be shooting with the 35 to 70 zoom Minolta lens, maximum of f-stop 4, not bad. And I'm going to be shooting with Fuji Superior 200 ISO 36 exposures. Those are my boobies. Oh, my mamas and the mamas. Oh, you're so pretty, babies. You're so pretty, babies. Okay, so my thoughts. Um, I was not a huge fan of the shooting experience of this camera. I found it very difficult. What I had to do is I was doing autofocus. It would not half press and then let me recompose. So what I had to do is on this knob here, this is autofocus and then I would autofocus with this camera 
and then hit manual and then take the shot. I found that a little bit faster than then just leaving it on manual and then focusing that way. That was a kind of a bummer. It wasn't like a point and shoot autofocus. This camera is a pretty crazy looking camera. It looks like it's from the future, probably same time Back to the Future movies were coming out. It's a good looking camera, not gonna lie. Um, it is a very noisy camera. Let's see if I can get it to autofocus. So very noisy. I mean, it is pretty normal for an autofocus older camera, one of the first. Um, it does have aperture priority, it has shutter priority. I ended up using it on aperture priority and just uh, using the autofocus and then switching to manual, like I said. So the complaints I do have about this camera is if, if you do not have film in it, which is the first part of the video, I took a bunch of shots, but they didn't come out because I didn't realize that this was saying film zero. So that's one of my first tips for this camera. I mean, it might be obvious to other people, but I made the mistake of shooting and never looking at the counter and never went to one and that's how you know if you loaded the film correctly i loaded the film thought i did a great job did not in the middle of my my first hike i realized that the counter wasn't going up i was already 10 shots in and realized that it wasn't actually continuing on reloaded it and then kind of started the vlog from there at that point so another tip is a normal point and shoot cameras or autofocus cameras auto winding cameras is when you get to the end of the roll so that you shot all shot on a camera it'll normally auto rewind so this is what it's so annoying about it so when you're done with the roll it'll say 36 which is what how much I shot and it was just blinking. So I was thinking, oh, it's done. It's gonna auto rewind. I was out in the rain and I couldn't really hear it. So I thought it auto rewinded or whatever, but it didn't. So I opened it up and I lost the last like three photos that I shot on this camera, which is a bummer. But to rewind it, when you're all done and it's blinking, giving you the 24 or the 36, you have to push this button and then pull and then it'll rewind once there's film in there or else you will like me lose the last photos overall i'm very happy with this camera it was a really good roll i did not expect the sharpness and the quality that i got out of this camera but it's more of the lens than it is the actual camera it got the lighting correct it was all auto exposing i didn't uh compensate i shot at box speed and i'm pretty happy with the photos yeah, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns about this camera, let me know. I will be selling this camera. I have a, a Minolta Maximum 5. I like that camera a lot more than this camera. I won't be using this camera at all. I have two, actually, of the Maximum 5. It's just a lot easier, better to use. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to your boy. Hit that like button. Comment any feedback, any questions, any anything you want me to know. Thank you guys so much, and happy shooting.